What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a behind the scenes look at my YouTube analytics and how much money I've made with a thousand subscribers since becoming monetized on YouTube. So I hit a thousand subscribers and became monetized on YouTube about four, almost five months ago now in the beginning of November, 2020. This was about a year after I created my YouTube channel, but about six to eight months after I consistently began uploading and actively trying to grow the channel. Once I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I immediately applied for the YouTube partner program so I could begin monetizing my videos. That whole process took about a week, maybe two weeks to complete. Uh, you essentially submit an application, they go over your account, make sure everything's okay, you're not posting any crazy content, and then they allow you into the YouTube Partner Program and allow you to start monetizing your videos. So you may be watching this video right now and seeing that I have over 2,000 subscribers. By the way, thank you guys so much for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. That's awesome, it happens so fast. So I'm super grateful. Thank you guys so much for being subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. So you guys may be wondering, you know, seeing this video about how much money you're making on YouTube with 1,000 subscribers, yet my channel currently has 2,000 subscribers. Well, I'm gonna go over the last four months of my growth from 1,000 subscribers to 2,000 subscribers and talk about my monetization during that time period because it's been about the same every month since I hit 1,000 subscribers, despite the growth of another 1,000 subscribers on my channel. So the way I wanna break this video up is I wanna start by talking about my three most recent videos that I posted because it gives a really good range of video performance on my channel, meaning that I had one video that did really badly compared to the typical performance of my channel, one that did about average, and one that did really, really well compared to the typical performance of a video on my channel. So for these three of my most recent videos, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the analytics on them. So after we look at the analytics of those three videos, I'm going to look at my channel as a whole, how much I've made since being monetized and how much that I've been making per month on YouTube revenue. And then finally, I'm going to be talking about some of my other revenue streams outside of YouTube. So anyone watching this video who may want to get their revenue streams up, I'll give a couple options for that and talk about how much I'm making in those different revenue streams. All right, so that said, let's hop into the analytics on the first video. I'm going to start with the one that is the typical YouTube video for my channel. So this video also happens to be my most recent video. As you can see here, looking at the homepage of the analytics, it's right in that typical performance band based on view count. Uh, watch hours, it's a little bit more because it's a longer video. Subscribers and estimated revenue, those are all on par for my channel, a typical video, and how it would perform. So as you can see here, this video has been posted for about two weeks now, and I've made $13.67 off of it, which isn't too bad, honestly. Like I said, that's the typical for my channel. However, I do want to note that that $13.67, that number that you're seeing for the past two weeks, that's not a number that can be extrapolated out to a month, a month and a half, two months. Typically with YouTube videos, the first two to three days that you post the video is gonna be your best days monetization wise, unless for some reason, your video stalls out a little bit and catches the algorithm later on and starts getting a ton of views. Those first two days are gonna make you the most money. And every day after that, it's just kind of gonna go up by cents, maybe dollars, depending on the size of your account. So this video was really interesting to me because I thought this video was gonna do really well. It started out pretty hot. It was towards the top of my typical band here, but then it kind of flattened out and really just fell on its face and just stopped getting views. All right, so next, let's talk about the video that did really badly on, on my channel. So this floor mats video, didn't do great at all. As you can see, it was in the very low band of the typical performance of my channel and then fell out completely. And this thing has been posted for a month and only has 377 views. That's pretty bad for my channel, if I'm being honest. And the glaring thing here is this video in a month made me $2.59. So for this video, I think the two things that didn't do well for the video were the click-through rate and the average view duration. So as you can see, a 4.0% click-through rate is not that great. Again, this could be due to the thumbnail or the title, or people just aren't interested in this type of video. The average view duration here, 33.3%. 
that's not that great. That is about average for the channel. However, that combined with the low click through rate here, I think is really what killed the video. So those are the few things there that are glaringly obvious about why this video didn't do really well. So now let's talk about the video that did do well. So this is one of my most recent videos. As you can see, it's been posted for about 20 days now, about three weeks, uh, 12.7 thousand views in three weeks. That's awesome. I think this is my best performing video in that time period on my channel ever. As you can see here, 11.5K more views than normal. So this video did really really well and the revenue made from this video reflects that in three weeks this video made hundred and twenty three dollars and seventy nine cents so if we look into the reach here my click-through rate is 6.2 percent so as you can see this is a lot better than the four percent click-through rate of the other videos and this click-through rate when i first posted the video was like almost 20%, which is awesome. Like that's the best click-through rate I've ever had on a video. And that's why it did so well. Naturally over time, the click-through rate falls as more and more people are seeing it. However, for the amount of views and impressions that this video got, that click-through rate is really, really good. And that's why the video did well. In addition to that, as you can see here, it was a 13 minute video with an average view of four minutes and 40 seconds. So almost five minutes. YouTube likes those longer videos where people are watching for longer because it's keeping people on YouTube and watching videos. So the thing about this video that's unlike the other videos on my channel is this one didn't tank after two to three days. This one had steady growth in revenue for the first about week, week and a half, two weeks. And then it kind of flattened out after, you know, it ran its course through the YouTube algorithm. So now that we've talked about those three videos and we kind of have an idea of why these videos are doing, the stats that they're doing, how they're making money, let's talk about my YouTube channel as a whole and how much I've been making since being monetized. All right, so looking at my channel here, for the last year, these are my revenue stats. This is how much money I've made. So $975.22 in the past four months or so that I've been monetized. So as you can see here, when I started out monetization on November 9th, uh, I got $5 and I was kind of floating around $5 a day for you know the first week or so of being monetized. So. I think that would be kind of like a baseline average for my channel. If you extrapolate that out, the $5 a day for 30 days a month, that's $150 a month in YouTube ad revenue. I was totally pumped about that. I thought I was going to be making a lot less than that. So I was super excited to be making $5 a day for videos that I had already posted. But then around a week into being monetized, I posted a video that right off the bat took off into the YouTube algorithm. I think it got like 14,000 views within the first two weeks, which did insanely well. And that's why you see this big spike that happened here. So that was my video posted on November 16th. Like I said, about a week after I was monetized and that kind of boosted my stats for that first month that I was monetized. So looking at this graph as a whole here, you can see it fluctuates greatly depending on if I have a video that's doing really well. Uh, like I said, I think the baseline for my channel, you know, if I just posted straight up average videos every week, that we're getting the average amount of views, I think would be around five to $7 a day. However, every month so far since being monetized, I've had at least one video do really well on the channel. And that's really been boosting my stats and boosting my ad revenue for my channel. We're gonna break down the last four months of revenue and see how much I've been making on average per month on my channel. All right, so if I scroll down here, you can see how much I've been making per month on my channel. My first month, I made $202, second month, $247, third month $216, and my last month I made $309, but it'll actually be a little bit more than that because it's a couple days behind. So as you can see, so far for a thousand subscribers, my average has been $200 a month, roughly a little bit more actually because of videos that have been doing really well. I would anticipate keeping the same trend of around 200 to $300 a month because I plan on making more videos that do really well. So hopefully I can keep this up and keep this revenue stream open for myself. So the average YouTuber with a thousand subscribers may or may not be making this amount of money. It depends on a ton of different factors and that's not me trying to gloat. That's just me saying, you know, I'm kind of lucky to have had a video every month for the past four months do really well on YouTube. And I can only hope that I keep that trajectory and I keep making those videos that do really well. All right guys, and then for the third part of this video, my other revenue streams, 
Currently, I am an affiliate with Amazon. So in all of my videos, if you look in the description, there are affiliate links for Amazon products. And it's all stuff that I use on my truck and in my videos. So this right here is my Amazon affiliate dashboard. As you can see for this month so far, which this is the last day of the month, I made $97.46 just based off of commission for putting those links in my videos and people clicking on them. The best thing about Amazon affiliates is if people click on your link, even if they don't buy the product that you are linking in your video, if they buy anything within the next, I think it's 24 hours or 48 hours, then you get a commission on that. This is definitely a form of passive income that I'm getting just for posting links in my videos. Uh, by the way, if you guys are clicking those links, thank you because it's making me some money and that's going back into the channel to make better and more content. So that said, this isn't technically an average month for me on Amazon. It really fluctuates greatly. I've had months where I've made $30 and I've had months that I've made almost $150. In addition to this, when people are clicking on those links, it obviously doesn't cost them anything extra. Uh, when you are an Amazon affiliate, you do have to state that on your channel. So if you go to my about section on my channel, I have a little statement there talking about how I make commission from these. In addition to that, you have to put like a little hashtag or something on your video near the links that clearly states that you're earning commissions. So if you go look at my past videos, every video has a little hashtag commissions earned on it. And that's kind of stating that I am making a commission off of those Amazon links. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below and I will get back to you. In addition to that, check out my Patreon. If you want to see more detailed analytics and strategies on how to grow your accounts to the point that I have and beyond. That said, guys, if this video provided any value to you, please hit that like button as it's going to help me out with the algorithm and it's going to help my video do better so other people can see it. If you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.